Hi, welcome to Boiler Dan One, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And today's episode is completely different from anything I've ever done. For several years, I searched and was disappointed in cocktail sauce, especially around the holidays. So finally, I decided to try making my own. I tried several different uh, recipes that I made up and this is the best one of all. So what you'll need is a 12 ounce bottle of Heinz chili sauce. Make sure you get chili sauce. Whatever the best quality horseradish that you can find, it has to be the refrigerated type, so look for that because otherwise you won't get the right flavor that you really wanna get. Then you need to spice it up a little bit. You can use cayenne pepper, or lately I've been using uh, shiraka chili sauce. This is a, a pretty hot sauce, so you're, we're not gonna use a lot of that. So my secret ingredient that really makes it special is powdered sugar. But let me uh, show you what to mix up and give it a try and see if you don't agree. It's the best cocktail sauce for shrimp, oysters, any, any seafood product. So here we go. So the first ingredient and the main ingredient is gonna be the chili sauce. So that's number one. The second ingredient is actually gonna be the powdered sugar and that's because I wanna be able to taste it. I've got a teaspoon measure and I'm going to put a teaspoon, pretty much heaping teaspoon of powdered sugar in that Heinz chili sauce. And I'm gonna mix this in really good. Now, I started with just a teaspoon. I'm probably gonna add more, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my tasting plate. And you wanna keep adding sugar until you can just detect a little bit of sweet. And that wasn't near enough. And I can tell, so I'm gonna add two more teaspoons, pretty much heaping. Now I'll be honest, in the past, I've always done this just with a regular spoon and just did it by feel. But I figured if this is the first time you've ever made it, I'd use actual measuring spoons. I just completed another taste test. On three teaspoons, I can begin to taste the sweetener but I want it just a little bit more. So this is gonna actually end up being probably a good heaping tablespoon or four heaping teaspoons of the powdered sugar. And this time I don't even need to taste test it. I know that that's gonna be right, but you can, you can run your own taste test. So now you've got that base ready to go. Now we want to spice it up a little bit, but not too much. And this shiraka or your cayenne pepper, whichever you decide upon, is pretty hot. And you don't want to make something that your guests won't eat. So I'm going to start out and probably it will be one tablespoon. And we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna stir this in really good and do another taste test. That's perfect. Now, the reason I want you to taste test it is because some sauces may be hotter than the other. The next most important and final ingredient is horseradish. So I cleaned off my mixing spoon, and I just know from past experience, I'm gonna want, for my taste, three heaping spoonfuls. But you might stop at two, and then again, run your taste test.
Now you're going to want to run another taste test. That is almost perfect. But now that I have everything in, I would actually like a little more sweet to it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to get one more heaping teaspoon of powdered sugar. Stir that up. One more taste test. Perfect. I encourage you to try it. It is the best cocktail sauce, especially for cold shrimp or hot shrimp, any of those dishes. I hope you get a chance to enjoy the holidays this year. I hope you'll try my cocktail sauce. If you want to try something even a little more different, put in some pickle relish into your cocktail sauce. That's another thing that I really enjoy. If you want, you can mix this up and then get just a small container and put, you know, a, a teaspoon of pickle relish in there, stir it around and give it a taste test, see what you think. Again, this is Boiler Dan Juan, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. I really appreciate you watching. Enjoy this holiday season. I hope you can be with your family.